How to run the file along with opening the document. Hi hackers, you have probably heard a lot from the news or have come across such letters in which hackers send you a document and ask to open it. Typical method of mass attack, where attackers send out virus documents. As I said, you can run any binary file when opening a document in two ways. The first is with a macro, as I said in one of the videos. The second is through the vulnerabilities exploitation. The second method doesn't work on all versions, because after some vulnerability was found, Microsoft releases an update with patches, that is, the binary file will run on those versions where updates are not installed. For example, correct an unlicensed version. Today we will consider the second option, DDE protocol vulnerability. First we will do everything ourselves and then I will show a tool that masks the code from antiviruses and allows you to create a file in a couple of minutes. The DDE protocol is a collection of messages and recommendations. Built-in Microsoft Office function allows you to run malware without using macro. The problem is that the attackers learned how to use DDE not to open other Office applications, but to launch the command line and execute malicious code. As a rule, when DDE is triggered, the application shows the user to warnings, what it looks like in practice. We open Office Word. By the way, the exploit also works for Excel documents. Select a field, click the right mouse button and field values codes. Insert the command that runs the command line and through it runs the calculator. Save and check. There are three windows and the calculator started. Now consider a tool that automatically creates a document. In the output you will receive two different documents. The first document is exactly the same as we did before. The second document will not contain viruses, it will be clean, but it loads the first document from the internet. That is, if you want to send a clean document, you will need to upload the first document to the hosting or server. A link to it will specify in the process of creating a document. And then, when you open the second document, the person will download the first document from your hosting. Then everything will be in the same scenario as in the first document. Install the tool, run it. It asks to enter the first argument. Here we need to insert a command to run the file. Just to get started, the file must be downloaded from the internet. Therefore, the file must also be uploaded to the hosting or and indicate its link here. I have mistake here. Download string loads the string and then the command executes the PowerShell script and not the file. Therefore, to run the binary file, the end will be different. In the second argument, we write the name of the program that will be highlighted in the second window. The third argument we don't fill in and skip it. Next, you need to enter the address of the hosting where the first document will be placed for uploading, as I explained before. And all two files are ready. We see the link where we need to place the first file. Or if you want, you can immediately send the document without uploading the first file. Send first file to the some person and the second file is not needed. Payload final you can send a person right away. Or I repeat, take it and upload it to the hosting, but we are sending the second file to the person which will load the first one. Let's check what antiviruses think about files. 
The first file is not detected by popular antiviruses, but the rest is detected quite a lot. The second file is almost clean. The tool also has an obfuscation function, but is not particularly effective. It also creates two files, only the first file will with obfuscated code. The second is exactly the same. Let's check the first file. As we see, it is the same as the not obfuscated document. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.